Hello everybody, welcome back to another Birth of Great Away video, and uh, this time I actually have a real life project in progress here. So uh, as you can probably already tell by probably the title and the model here, I'm actually working on a 1 111th scale RMS Olympic model. And currently it looks like Titanic. It technically has the uh, private promenade here. But I'll probably, uh, I'll see how things go, and if I need to change to Titanic, I will. But for now, it's Olympic. So I've, uh, I've been working really hard for the past three days on this. It's about eight feet long, and basically I just thought I should, thought a good challenge for me while I waited for my GPU to arrive, uh, which it did today, and I installed it. So I'll have this France part 20 on Friday, but I'm still going to be working on this, and so... My plan is to, I'm going to do one side of it, just the starboard side here, and then I'm going to mount it on the wall, probably here, to get rid of these, uh, mount on the wall, and I'll finish it and have a big old half, um, big old half size, uh, what was it, starboard side of the, uh, uh, RMS Olympic 111th scale model. So I'll show you a little bit how I made this, so, uh, first what I did was I took my computer here, um, and I found blueprints, like, with, uh, individual, I found a big old side plan like this, and then I found each, not each frame, but I had 39 of these frames slash ribs. So I managed to find the biggest frame, number 72 right here, and figured out that that was 729 pixels tall. And so I managed to scale all the rest of these frames and the side plan to the same scale and so i printed all that out cut it all out taped the side plan together in two different sections i'm making the model in two different sections just so it's easier to move around and make um and so then i tr basically just traced this big old side plan on cardboard this is all cardboard here cut that out same with all the frames, I cut out all the 39 ribs and uh, traced those out, cut them out on more cardboard. And so now what I'm going to do, well, what I will be doing after this is for the shell plating, I'm planning on printing out a, um, it's like a sort of diagram, sort of, of like Titanic's shell plating. And so I think I'm going to print that out on a bunch of pieces of paper. Cut them out, put them together, and then lay them over the top of all these frames. And that'll be the show planning done. So after that, I'll, uh, I'll get all the rest of the details on it, all the superstructure, boat deck, and everything. So, yeah, that's kind of my update one for the Armas Olympic. So I would have used wood for this entire haul, but I need the tools and the wood. <laughs> Both of which I don't have money for, obviously, because I don't have. So, instead I use cardboard, and uh, it seems to be working quite well. Um, I did use a little bit of wood here, just some spare wood I found in the garage to uh, put under this cardboard here to make it stable and not flimsy. So, I'm going to mount that to the wall, and yeah, hopefully I'll see you guys in the next part. Uh, probably either part two of this... Uh, part two of the uh, Minecraft 10 to 1 Olympic update, or maybe even SS France 1910 Tier Short Part 20. So, uh, bye for now.